Alright, we're here with Max Vogel here at Pullman Park and uh, we want to talk to you about uh, well, getting to know you a little bit for uh, the fans of our website, uh, thebutlerbluesluck.net. And uh, first off, I'm going to ask you, uh, how has been playing here with the Blues Lux been different than uh, playing at college at Winthrop? Um, so far, I love it down here. Uh, as far as being different, uh, it's a lot more free and easy down here just because of the fact that more along the lines of just letting us play, and there's not as much coaching that goes on more along the lines of uh, technique and stuff that they teach us, but there's nothing as far as controlling the game from the, from the bench. So there's a lot of uh, player skill involved right now. And for summer ball, it's just letting us play and letting us figure out why we love the game again. It's great. And plus, there's no classes, so that must be nice. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Uh, what, did, what, I, what made you decide to come here? Like, how did you hear about it? Did somebody contact you? Um, well, I knew about the Prospect League that just opened up a couple years ago, and I knew about the Super Rock Sliders and Bubble Blue Sox, obviously, that are here. And I played at Pullman Park before in high school, and I'm from Aliquippa, PA, which is only an hour or so away. And uh, I wanted to stay home after my freshman year for my first league of summer ball. So I figured, why not come back here and see if I can get on the Blue Sox. So I talked to my coach about it, and he got me on. Cool. Um, okay, on the same lines, uh, you were posted high school player of the year in 2009. Uh, so you must have been recruited by quite a few schools. Uh, what made you decide to go to Winthrop? Uh, Winthrop, I just loved it down there. I mean, it was a small school, which is more along the lines of what I wanted. So there's only like five or six thousand people there, six thousand students, and I just fit in really nice down there. I loved it down there. I loved the coaches. Loved everything about it. The field's beautiful, and they uh, had my major down there and everything else. So I went down there, fell in love. Uh, now you're an outfielder regularly by trade. Right. But uh, you also threw a couple innings here and down there. Um, you're the high school pitcher of the year in 2009. So you had a lot of awards in 2009. But uh, what, uh, <laughs> what, uh, what uh, will you, do you think you'll see more time pitching here on your days off? Or how are they going to like work around that whenever you're not in the outfield or what? Um, so far, what he's been doing, it seems like the two days that I did throw were my off days. And you know we've been short on arms lately anyway just because we've had a lot of injuries and everything else. So um, I told him I could throw and let him know, and I went out and threw pretty well. So I think he's going to use me more often. I think that's why he's been dh me a lot more instead of putting me in the outfield and save my arm a little bit. OK. Um, on the website, it says your favorite player is Ted Woods. Uh, I found that kind of interesting, seeing as you've probably never seen him play. What, no, but what made you decide on him? Honestly, I, I, he has a book out. It's called The Science of Hitting that he wrote before he died. And I read that when I was little a lot. And just everything about it just made so much sense to me. And everything that he did, and he was I mean, the last guy to hit 400. You know, he's the best player I think he's ever played. So. Okay. What, yeah, yeah, I know you play baseball a lot, but you have some other hobbies outside of baseball. What do you? Uh, honestly, I like being outside, so I like fishing, hunting. Uh, everything else. So I live out in the sticks a little bit back home. So I like being outside and just hanging out with my brother a lot of times, going fishing and stuff. It's good. Just hanging out. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm the same way. I love the sticks too. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, why did you choose uh, Framing Hanley as your walkout song? I don't know. Uh, my friend turned me on to him in the winter actually. And I liked the band a lot and I figured it sounded like a good walkout. Pretty good. Is it, is it? Is that like your favorite genre of music, like rock? Yeah, for the most part, like yeah. alternative rock stuff like that. And I've gotten really into country down in school just because in South Carolina, that's everybody loves, everybody listens to. So, yeah, <laughs> I thought about a couple of those for walk out. Uh, TV, like what do you like watch on TV? <laughs> Sports Center, just like everybody else. <laughs> you know, it's a good choice. Sports Center, and anytime there's a Will Ferrell movie on or something, I'll turn that on. Okay. Um, well. I, I guess the last thing I ask you is, uh, what do you look to uh, get out of this summer playing here? I know you had uh, your freshman this year, and I talked to Jason. He said you didn't have a lot of a bad time. You're kind of a pinch hitter. It must it must be nice to get more time definitely down here. Yeah, so it, it help you develop. Definitely. It was this summer, I mean, especially using wood and everything, you really learn how to refine your swing to get the most out of it that you can. Being able to play every day or most every day anyway has helped me out a lot. Just be able to see a lot more balls, see a lot of pitches, and just get my swing down the way I need it and be able to recognize pitches like I need. I and mean, that was the biggest thing I struggled with at school was being able to pick up certain pitches. Like change ups, you never see a change up in high school when you get to college and everybody's got a good one. So that's been the biggest thing so far. All right, well, thanks a lot. Um, it's a good talk to you. Thank you very much.